Welcome to T3Live.com's Options Market Sit Rep, Matthew Buckley, the Chief Options Strategist here at uh, T3Live. And it's the end of the world as we know it, folks. Just absolute craziness going on. Make sure you join us after the close today at 4.30 Eastern uh, with Laz and I. Or if you can't make it after the close, 9 o'clock tonight. T3Live.com slash live dash event where we're going to be uh, talking about what, just uh, what's going on uh, in the market. Uh, absolute craziness. Uh, if you are flying around in this market without an ejection seat, bad things are happening to you. We put on this bullish double vertical. This is a November trade. This was a hedge out to November. Did this Monday morning in our primary live trade brief. Put on this trade Monday morning as a hedge. SDS bullish double vertical out to November, 113% gain in two days, over two grand in two days. So we can potentially profit using options no matter which way the market goes, up, down, or sideways. Uh, that's in our uh, primary live trade brief model portfolio. Check out this one in the urgent alert model portfolio. I also had an SDS hedge on. I had a bull call spread out to the end of October. I put this one on at the beginning of the month just because historically October is a very, very volatile month. And this one up $4,000 in about two and a half, three weeks, 135% return. Now, obviously, folks, obviously my longs are getting obliterated, right? But it goes to, sh that's why they're longs though, right? I have long call diagonal synthetic stock out to 2016, out to 2017, okay? The longs are getting kicked in the gut, but we can hedge the front month and we can pot potentially, uh, even when it's raining out, man, we can potentially make some money in the front month. So yeah, the longs are getting uh, hammered and I'd look to maybe add to a lot of my long positions here and I'm getting ready to, to start our uh, accelerated retirement live training session here at, at 1 p.m. I, I would definitely be looking to add here. Uh, but again, the market's creeped out about a lot of things. I mean, the VIX is almost up at 30 and folks, we haven't seen the VIX up this high in over two years. And again, You've got to trade counter. When vol's cheap, you buy it. When it's expensive, you sell it. Vol is incredibly expensive right now. Now, it takes a little bit of guts. Look, the last time was, uh, you know, here's where we lost our uh, AAA credit rating. Thank you, Mr. President. And this is when Europe imploded and Greece was going to be an absolute train wreck. Look what happened. Vol came back in eventually. Vol doesn't stay elevated forever. Now, I could be completely wrong. This literally could be the end of the world. This Ebola thing is absolutely crazy. I've been warning T3 Live and TGO traders for months about this threat and how the government is lying to us. Gasp, shocker, don't, you don't say, Wiz. Really? Um, and that it can potentially be weaponized. If you don't think there's a dude in a cave, or actually a dude not in a cave, uh, thinking, wow, <laughs> the Americans are freaking out about uh, this Ebola thing. Uh, hey, anybody want to go kill as many uh, Americans as possible? Hell yeah, sign me up for that. That is going to happen, people. So I'm not here to cause a panic. I'm actually here to tell you the truth and to be prepared. Okay? Um, and the, the lady that got infected uh, was on a frontier flight. Nice job, CDC. So you're monitoring the people that treated this guy, and they're supposed to be self-monitoring, and you let them travel? And she showed symptoms the day after she traveled. And they're saying, well, it's only contagious if they're showing symptoms. You're going to tell me she did. She, the next morning is when she felt symptoms. Come on, guys. This is, this is getting bad, and it could be uglier. Talking about the market, folks, and the GDP downgrades begin. Remember everybody saying, ah, that Q1 print was ridiculous. You know, the negative number, not going to happen. And we crushed it in Q2. I told all of my traders, don't listen to any of it. Q3 is going to be an absolute train wreck, and it looks like we're going to be right here. Even Europe's starting to roll over here. The European stocks are in uh, correction mode here. They're down from 11% high, and it is, uh, it, it's just red all over the place. The S&P is in red for the uh, the year. The 10-year is under uh, uh, 1%, and oh, other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how is the play? Retail sales numbers came out today. Let's take a look at them here. So Wednesday on our flight schedule here, retail sales. Core retail sales, whenever you see the word core, it means X something. In this case, it's X autos. Not good. Imploded from a positive what they wanted, 0.2%, to a negative 0.2%. And total retail sales imploded even more than that. Empire State Fed. 27.5, yeah, maybe a little bit of a slowdown to 20.3, imploded to 6.2. Hmm, not, not good at all. 
okay? And we had a little mini market uh, uh, flash crash, uh, right? The, mo the safest market ever. We learned after that last uh, uh, flash crash, well, the S&P minis had an absolute uh, horrible uh, flash crash trade today right here. Uh, or actually, that, that's the night trade back in 2012. Look at this one. That was, uh, remember, night capital? Uh, their flash crash. Well, look what happened today. More to come on that. I'm, I'm still trying to do some research on that. But guys, man, this is crazy times. If you don't have an ejection seat, you're going to get shot down in this market. Okay. You don't want to catch a fallen knife. Think the market might have still more room to the downside. But remember, nobody rings a bell at the top of the market and nobody sounds an air horn at the bottom of the market. So, you know, if this ain't the bottom, look out below. But again, you know, your Soros's, your Paulson's, your Stevie Cohen's, these guys don't get rich by following the crowds or, or wait, waiting for an all clear. OK, so we'll talk. I'm, I got to get going here. I got two minutes before I start my accelerated retirement live training session. Uh, if you're interested, folks, give us a call if, if you're interested in learning how to trade options. Like I said, two hedge trades, you know, one. So a total of six grand in two of my portfolios in the past a couple of days based on this market moving doesn't really you know obviously we have a sucking chest wound with a lot of our long positions but uh, six grand uh, takes a lot of the sting out of some of those longs and they're longs for a reason because they're a lot farther out in time so let's profit off of this volatility in the short month while protecting our longs long term okay i'll see many of you at 4:30 this afternoon uh with laz or nine o'clock tonight have a great rest of your day we'll see you